What's going on guys, it's Panjan here, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a very quick guide on how to enable the ultimate power plan with inside of Windows 10. This is an optional power plan with inside of Windows, which cannot typically be accessed, but I'm going to be showing you guys in this video how to access it, and whether or not you should be using it depending on what your system is like. The main purpose of this power plan is to ensure that you guys running on sort of medium end to higher end machines, you can be getting the most performance possible, the lowest amount of latency possible, as easily as possible. I'll be providing more content on this feature in the future in terms of benchmarks and comparisons to see whether or not it's completely worth doing this, and in what scenarios you should and shouldn't use this. But for any of you guys now who wish to go ahead and test this, and decide whether or not you want to keep with this or not, it's very easy to turn on or off, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that in this video. Again guys, as always, if you guys appreciate this video and you are happy with the results of this video, please do leave a like on the video as it helps me out tremendously. Also feel free to subscribe and press that bell notification down on the channel to be notified whenever I do upload new videos, whether it's short little guides like this or more in-depth tutorials on how to get the most out of your machine. And let me know about your results down in that comment section down below as it is always fantastic to hear from you guys. Right, so starting off what we're going to have to go ahead and do is actually ensure that our Windows version supports the ultimate power plan. So to do this we're going to be navigating to the bottom left hand side and we're just going to be typing in WinVer just like that, which is W-I-N-V-E-R just like so and you'll be given this option here. Go ahead and click on the WinVer, and you'll be given this pop-up menu here, which should say Microsoft Windows 10, and it should then let you know which version of Windows 10 you're running on. As you can see, for me, I'm running on version 1803, and this is the lowest version of Windows you can run, which supports the ultimate power plan. So you guys are going to need to be running on 1803, or a higher version of Windows found over here on the OS build, or just in the version, so anything above 1803 or 1803 will work perfectly. If you guys are not running on this version of Windows, and you're running on an older version of Windows, just simply go ahead and press OK. You can then navigate down to the bottom left hand side and type in check for updates, just like so. Go to the check for updates tab found here at the top. Allow it to run its course, it will find any updates that need to be applied for your system. It will then download them and apply them. And all you guys will then have to go ahead and do is actually restart your machine, come back to this video, and you can then continue on. Right, so now assuming that you guys are on a compatible version of Windows 10 on a newer update, we can then go ahead and enable this power option. So to do this, we're gonna be navigating into the bottom right hand side. We're going to be right clicking on the Windows button this time and going up to Windows PowerShell, admin. Once you guys are inside of there, you can then navigate into the description down below and you'll find a long command which starts with something along the lines of power CFG. Just simply go ahead and copy all of that command and you'll then be able to simply go ahead and copy and paste or control plus V that command in there just like so. It should look very similar to this. Make sure you've got all of the command from the start to the finish and then simply go ahead and press enter. Once you guys have done that, you should then be given this message here, which is power scheme GUID, a couple of numbers, and it should say in brackets, ultimate performance. Once you guys are done with inside of there, you can then simply go ahead and exit out of the PowerShell. And once you've done that, we can actually go ahead and navigate and turn on that power option with inside of Windows. We're simply going to be navigating to the bottom left-hand side, clicking the Windows button, and this time typing in power. We're then going to be looking for any of the battery icons with the little cord going around it. It doesn't matter what it says next to it, just click on any of them. Then with inside of here, simply navigate to the power options tab found here at the top. And then you should be able to see the power plans inside of here. Simply go down to the show additional power plans, click on the drop down menu, and then you should be able to see the ultimate performance Windows power plan found here. You can also change these plan settings if you wish to do so by going into the blue tab, and you can change these two settings with inside of here to anything you wish to do so. Once you guys are done with those changes, simply go ahead and save changes there. Make sure it's then been applied to the ultimate performance, and then you can simply go ahead and close. Now at this point, before you go ahead and do anything else, I do recommend restarting your machine to ensure that everything is applied properly, and you're good to go. Again, some of you guys will be seeing better results with this than others, so do let me know down in that comment section below how well this worked for you guys. And like I said earlier on, more content on this feature will be coming soon in terms of benchmarks and stuff like that, going in and actually finding out the differences between the power plans and whether or not you should be using them and what systems should be and what systems shouldn't be. But for now, it's very easy, simple and fast to do and I recommend everyone goes ahead and applies it, has a little test around, see what it's like. If you don't like it, you can simply just go back to the other power plan you're running on or you can stick with it. Again, guys, do let me know down in that comment section below what your results are like and whether or not you're going to be sticking with the power plan. Like and share this around with any friends, family or anyone that you think can benefit from this. And again, guys, if you guys did find this video helpful and useful, please do leave a like on it as it helps me out tremendously. Thank you very much for watching this video, guys. I've been Penjano, and I am out.